Auto Max EZ's Ultra versus Ultra S2, the ultimate showdown. Which one is right for you? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we break down the latest in automobile diagnostics to help you make the best choices for your workshop, dealership, or personal garage. Before we jump into this highly anticipated comparison between the Auto Max EZ's Ultra and the all new Ultra S2, here's a quick but important reminder. If you love staying ahead with cutting edge automotive tools and tech, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's free, takes just a second, and really helps keep this channel running. Also, don't forget to tap the notification bell so you never miss an update. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty details, a quick disclaimer. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. Everything we discuss today is intended to help vehicle technicians, mechanics, and learners understand automobile diagnostics and programming. We adhere to fair use policies, using images, clips, and references strictly for education and review. No copyrighted material is used for commercial purposes, and all trademarks and brand names belong to their respective owners. As always, when working on vehicles, make sure to follow manufacturer guidelines and local regulations. With that out of the way, let's dive straight into today's topic. What's new in the Ultra S2, and how does it compare to the original Max EZ's Ultra? If you're wondering whether it's worth upgrading or sticking to the previous model, stick around until the end, because we're going to break down every detail, from hardware and software upgrades to real-world usability and performance. And of course, if you have any thoughts, opinions, or questions, drop them in the comment section and let's get a discussion going. What's the difference between the Auto Max EZ's Ultra and the Ultra S2? Auto's Max EZ's Ultra has long been a go-to choice for professionals. But with the release of the Ultra S2, many are wondering, is this just a minor refresh or is it a true game changer? Well, the answer lies in hardware, software, and diagnostic features. So let's start with what's changed under the hood. 1. Hardware improvements, a faster, more powerful device. Auto has made some impressive hardware upgrades in the Ultra S2, ensuring it runs faster, processes data more efficiently, and delivers a smoother user experience. Here's what you need to know. A bigger, better display. The Ultra S2 now features a larger 13.7-inch anti-glare touchscreen compared to the 12.9-inch display on the original Ultra. This may not sound like a huge difference, but in the world of diagnostics, having a clearer, more detailed screen makes a big impact when analyzing data. Whether you're working indoors or outdoors, the anti-glare coating ensures better visibility in all lighting conditions. Massive storage upgrade. The Ultra S2 doubles the storage capacity to 512 gigabytes, allowing users to store more vehicle data, logs, and updates without worrying about running out of space. This is a big advantage for workshops handling multiple vehicles daily. Wi-Fi 6 for faster connectivity. The new model comes with Wi-Fi 6 support, which means faster, more stable connections for downloading updates, running cloud-based diagnostics, and communicating with vehicles. Compared to the Wi-Fi 5.0 on the original Ultra, this upgrade results in low-latency data transmission, reducing the time it takes to send and receive diagnostic data. Upgraded processor for smoother performance. The Ultra S2 is equipped with a 2.7 GHz 8-core processor, providing faster response times, better multitasking, and improved performance across all diagnostic functions. Compared to the older 2.3 GHz processor in the original Ultra, this means less waiting and more doing. A more ergonomic, lightweight design. Despite being larger, the Ultra S2 is actually lighter than the previous model, making it easier to hold and carry around the workshop. 2. Software Enhancements Smarter, more efficient diagnostics While hardware is important, software is where the real magic happens. The Ultra S2 comes with major improvements that set it apart from its predecessor. Enhanced Topology Mapping The original Max EZ's Ultra introduced basic topology mapping, allowing users to see the layout of a vehicle's communication network. Now, with Topology 3.0, the Ultra S2 takes this to the next level, providing a clearer, more interactive visualization of all connected modules. You can now see terminating resistor values, 
helping identify faults in the KIN network more accurately. Real-time module pinging. One of the biggest game changers is the new pinging functionality. This means technicians can send signals to specific modules in the vehicle and receive instant responses, similar to how network diagnostics work in IT. This makes it significantly easier to detect faulty wiring, bad connectors, and unresponsive modules without unnecessary guesswork. Live Network Diagnostics Unlike the original Ultra, which was limited to standard mapping and basic diagnostics, the Ultra S2 can now analyze network communication in real time. This means you can actively troubleshoot network faults while working on the vehicle, reducing diagnostic time, and improving accuracy. 3. VCMI versus VCMI 2, what's new? Both the Ultra and Ultra S2 come with a VCMI, Vehicle Communication and Measurement Interface, but the Ultra S2 introduces an improved 6 in one VCMI 2. Original Ultra comes with a 5 in one VCMI that includes VCI, Vehicle Communication Interface, Oscilloscope, Waveform Generator, Multimeter, Can Bus Tester, Ultra S2, now upgraded to a 6 in 1 VCMI 2, adding remote expert capabilities for more advanced diagnostics and real-time remote assistance. Final verdict. Is the Ultra S2 worth it? If you already own a Max Easy's Ultra, you might be wondering, should I upgrade? Well, that depends on how you use your diagnostic tools. If you need more advanced network diagnostics, real-time pinging, resistor values, a bigger, clearer display, for better visibility, faster processing, and improved storage, the latest AI-powered inspection tools, then the Ultra S2 is definitely worth considering. However, if your current Ultra is handling your workflow just fine, you might not feel the urgency to upgrade just yet. What do you think? Is the Ultra S2 a worthy successor, or is it just a minor refresh? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. A huge thank you to everyone who watches and supports this channel. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit that thumbs up button and consider leaving a super thanks. It's a great way to support the channel. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe now so you never miss out on the latest diagnostic tool updates and comparisons. Share this video with your fellow technicians, mechanics, or anyone in the auto industry. Let's keep this conversation going. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy diagnosing.